Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic is homophones. We shall be continuing with our topic that we studied in the previous lecture. But first we shall revise what are homophones. So the words that have the same sound and different meanings are called homophones. And the homophones that we discussed in the previous lecture are Sun, sun, which, which, pear, pear, sea, sea, meat, meat. These are the homophones that we discussed in the previous lecture along with their meanings and we also made their sentences. And I hope that you all have done your task that was given in the previous lecture to copy down these homophones in your notebooks and learn them and make the sentences of your own. In today's lecture, we shall be introducing you some new homophones and you shall be able to make the sentences after understanding their meanings. I am repeating this again. It is important to learn their meanings because as long as you don't know the meanings, you cannot make their sentences. So. It is important to learn their meanings and then you can make the sentences easily. Not just sentences, these homophones are also used a lot in your creative writings that we shall be doing later on. So the homophones that we shall be studying today are these. The first set is then, t-h-e-n then and t-h-a-n then. The first T-H-E-N then means after. For example, I'm going to make a sentence. First turn is mine to take the slide, then the second turn is yours. And this, they have taken turns, one after the other. The next then, T-H-A-N then, is used for comparison. The sentence goes like this. My essay is longer than yours. Now here, two people are comparing their essays that mine is longer than yours. That's why T-H-A and then is used. Now this set of homophones is the most important set because this is used a lot in your daily life. And people make a lot of mistakes. So it is very important to learn this and to understand it. The next, end, this, uh, the next word that we shall be uh, studying today is B. Now there are two types of B. Number one is BE and its homophone is B double E. The first BE means to take place. And the other BEE -E, that is an insect fly. I'm going to make the sentence of the first B. What would you like to be when you grow up? And the next B, a bee stung me on my hand. Now you see the difference. The next word is deer and deer. I saw a deer in the jungle. My dear mother is the best in the world. The next word is R. This is also a very commonly used pair of homophone that we use a lot in our daily life. There are 24 hours in a day. Our house is double story. The last pair that we are going to study today is ear. Basically, the first word is spelled ear, that is an organ of your body. And the next word is spelled like year, that is a year of 12 months. Rabbits have very long ears. I am going to be 8 years old this year. So these are the homophones that we shall be studying today. And I hope that you are going to learn their meanings and then make the sentences. So your today's task is to write these homophones on your notebooks and make their sentences. I hope that you have understood this lecture 
and shall be doing the homework accordingly thank you and see you next time allah hafiz